there you guys I'm here to show you these colorful chandelier earrings I'm showing them in easy steps so I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself I'm Teddy welcome to my channel if you're new here consider subscribing with the bell also I'm so grateful to all of you that like share and comment you could support me in PayPal or by becoming a member which comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. I have already two courses and some videos and I will add more content for members. You might want to check out this resource. It's really inexpensive and it makes a lot of difference for me. Now let's start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 ounce seed beads you could use 10 ounce as long as all of those colors are 10 ounce i use black light pink red and light green you could use others of your choice here i'm using earring findings this is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use similar size of needle. And these are scissors and flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and I'm starting my work with two pink and two black beads. And what I want to do is to slide those down. Now, as I have this, I'm going back through these two pink beads. Now I have them next to each other and you see the holes of those two beads are pointing in this direction. I'll leave here guys a small tail that later I will use to secure my work. After I go through the pink I'm going through the black as well. Then I take two red beads and I go back just like this through these two blacks and then backwards through the red ones now I have three cute columns next to each other then I take black I always put a color and then black beads The next color is green. Black after that. And then my friends, I will repeat everything that I have here, but the other way around, st starting from the green. So green I finish with pink beads and my first row is ready and I'm ready for my next row I pick up two black and two red beads and you see guys here the thread bridges that I have between my beads I will go under this one between the black and the red bead and what I do here is called brick stitch but don't worry if you're not familiar I will show it really easy and you will be able to do this 
Okay, now I go through these two red beads that I have here. And because these beads go under the second thread bridge, I will need to reinforce them. I don't like how they stretch. You see this gap between them. That is why I will go one more time through them. Don't worry, it's only the first step. After that, you don't do this additional reinforcement, okay? Now I like how it looks. Then I need two black beads and I will continue adding now the beads two by two. Only the first step was with four beads. And I go under the next thread bridge that I have here. And after that, I go through these two beads backwards through them. In this way I create something like a loop and I attach them to my work. After the red one it comes the green one and I add them absolutely the same way by going under the following thread bridge and then through these two beads. Two columns of two black beads. Then a green, a green column. Black, red, black. Okay, and here are the last two black beads from this row. Okay, then I take two red and two black beads and what I do is that I go under the second thread bridge like I did in my previous row. I will always be going under the second thread bridge because I have less beads in the next rows than in the previous ones. I'm creating a decreasing prick stitch. Okay, then I go through the two that are closer to the center of my work. And then, as I mentioned, because I go under the second thread bridge, I decrease and my beads stretch and I want to reinforce them by going one more time through them. Just like this. This is, guys, what I call double brick stitch. And then I continue with two green. Then black, pink, black, green. And then black and red. Again, I start next row with four beads, two black, two green, and again 
I go under the second thread bridge here go through the ones that are closer to my work and reinforce then I add the following sequence black, two pink, black, two green and two then I add the following sequence two black, two pink, two pink, two black, two green, two black Then I take two green and two black, again I go under the second thread bridge, again my step is to go back through the ones that are closer to the center and to reinforce. This is basically what I'm doing all the time. And then I continue with the following sequence two pink, two black, two pink, two black and two green beads Then I take two black and two pink beads, again second thread bridge and again the same thing that I do all the time. Then what I need are two black columns, one pink column and one black column. pink and two black second thread bridge red black pink Okay, then we take two black and two red beads and I go under 
the second thread bridge and then I go back through these two red ones and I reinforce then a red and a black two reds and two blacks again second thread bridge although here I have only three thread bridges the rule is the same now I'm taking one black, two light green and one black. I skip here the central one, the black one and go through the next two red beads and the next two black ones. Then I will be zigzagging a little bit through my beads, go through the next red ones then backwards like this and then I go back through all of those beads because my goal guys is to reinforce this joint here and then I want to slide down in this direction through some beads now before I start the chandelier part I want to cut this tail thread that is why I will put a needle here on it and I'll be back to show you how I'm doing it. Okay, and I have a needle here at this step, add it. And I want to go through some beads in this direction, guys. And here I want to make a knot. And how I do this, I just make a loop and I go once or you could go even two times through this loop you've made and pull and then you can go here through some beads in this direction and you can cut this tail thread Okay, now this is what I have. Then in my next step, what I want to do is go in this direction to all of the green beads, to all of the greens and exit here. By the way, if you want, you could repeat this side in this direction and finish the earring in this way, but I will show you how to make a chandelier one. Okay, so I take five light green beads and I go through these two light greens, just like that. Then I will turn my work because it's easier for me and I'm going through these two black beads and what I want to pick up next are 10 black beads and as I'm exiting from these black beads I go in these two blacks and I pull have in mind that if you use 10 o seed beads instead of 11 o these numbers will be a little bit different or if you use different lot where the beads are just a little bit 
smaller which happens from time to time you might need to add less or more beads the point is that they fit perfectly next to each other so these are five and after these five you need ten to surround them perfectly not to bend or to be too loose Okay, maybe you will need to experiment with this if you're not using absolutely the same beads as mine. Now I'll pick up the next beads. In my next step, guys, I'm picking up 14 red beads. And as I'm exiting from this red, I'm going in the next two red beads. And I'm pulling. And you see how it fits perfectly around my beads again I say if you use a little bit slightly different sides maybe you will need to add less or more for me this is the perfect match So what I have here are 22 black beads and as I'm exiting from these black beads I go here in these blacks. Okay and I have this. Then I go through these two pinks to make my last chandelier. And I need to add 25 pink beads. And I'm going here through these two pink. Okay. And I have here perfect match. Okay. If you if it's loose, just take out some beads. If it's too short, just add some beads. Okay. If your beads are not the same manufacturer or the same, absolutely the same size, maybe you will need to do this. Okay, now what I want to do is to make here a knot by making a loop and going twice, pulling, and then I always go through some beads. You could always repeat the knot several times, by the way, and then you go through some beads and cut your tra tail thread. Okay, guys, and now my colorful chandelier earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment. In this way you help me so much and a lot of work goes in this video. So you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with a lot of perks. I have already two courses and I will be adding more and more videos for members. Thank you for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.